I bought this as a package deal, so it came with the chainsaw, and it came with this big honking 40 volt battery. It's got a little button on here, you can press it, and you can see the indicator lights to see how much charge is left on the battery. To put the battery in the saw, you just hold the battery upside down, and it slides right in the side. Now, Ryobi updated the design a couple of years ago to do this side loading feature, and the reason why is because you can buy extended life batteries and the batteries get thicker and this allows that room to put a bigger battery in here. From a specifications perspective, like I said, this is the 40 volt brushless model. Uh, this is the 14 inch bar version. It has a 3 8 inch chain with 52 drive links. The saw weighs about 11 and a half pounds and it has a six ounce bar oil reservoir on it. It also features an anti-kickback chain. All right, let's talk about what I like and dislike about the saw. First thing I like is the weight. I think it's a really good compromise in weight. You know, it's at 11 and a half pounds. It's not super light, but it's also not super heavy. It's very manageable to use. It has enough weight to it that I think it actually assists when you're trying to cut with it too. Very manageable, very happy. On the same regard, the saw is actually pretty well balanced. It's not too heavy in the front or not too heavy in the back. I think the balance between the motor location and the battery location and how far the handle back is really gives you good control over the saw. So I really like that as well. The other thing that I like is it's got really good power for its weight. Ryobi advertises this saw having gas-like performance. Now I don't know about that, but it does have good chain speed and it actually does cut pretty quick. I'm very happy about the performance of this saw. Okay, now let's talk about what I don't like. First thing I don't like is it's really noisy for an electric chainsaw. Um, I mean, I guess that's to be expected. The motor does have to hit a certain RPM. The bar does make a lot of noise. I was just surprised how noisy this is. You definitely will need hearing protection when using this. Second thing that I'm not too excited about is I mentioned the oil reservoir and how that holds six ounces. Now I find that it leaks no matter what I do. So I always find that whenever I use the saw, I put just a little bit of oil in there to make sure the bar stays properly lubricated while I'm using the saw, but not so there's a lot of oil left to leak out while it's in storage. I do always put a piece of newspaper under it and put some plastic under it as well, because no matter what I do, it always leaks oil while it's in storage. So something to be aware of. The other thing I don't love is actually not related to the saw at all, it's related to the charger. Now, there are no indicator lights on the charger itself, it tells you about the indicator lights on the battery. There's also no way to mount this. So you can't hang it on the wall and clip the battery into it. You're pretty much forced to end up setting it on a table and putting the battery on top of it. Okay, that's fine. That's totally usable. This would have been way better if it had a couple of screw holes in there where I could put a screw in the wall, hang that on the wall, and then just snatch the battery off. So that's a miss for me from Ryobi's perspective. Not sure what they were thinking. I don't know anybody that's got a lot of extra table space to sit around and have one of these charged, but this could easily be mounted on the wall. Another thing I wanna mention, this is something you should pay particular attention to. When I bought my saw, the chain was very, very loose out of the box. You will need to check the tension of your chain and you will need to tighten that up. There's a little tool here in the back. You just pull that out. You loosen these two bolts right here and then there's a little screw right here. You turn it one direction to add tension and one direction to reduce the tension on the chain. As a general rule of thumb, you want there to be no sag in the chain on the bottom. So there should be no sag there. However, you should be able to move the chain by hand. If you can't move the chain by hand, it's probably too tight. If you get the chain too tight, it can bind and keep it from turning on the bar. And obviously if it's too loose, you could create a safety issue. So be careful with that. I've used this saw to take down a couple of small trees and do some pruning around my property. You see here how the saw works. The log that I'm cutting is about four and a half inches in diameter. Now I'm taking my time, but the saw goes through this thing with no problems, cutting it up like butter. And I made about five or six passes through this just for demonstration purposes. You can see some of the little wedges that I cut out. Now I've used this to cut everything up to about 10 inches. The two trees that I took out, one of them was this one that was about 10 inches in diameter, and the other was a small ginkgo that was about four and a half or five inches in diameter, its widest point. I was able to take out both of those trees and cut up all the branches and debris and clean everything up uh, all on one battery. Now when I was done, there was only one bar left on the battery, but it was still running, no, no degradation in performance on the saw. You're probably not gonna do a lot of heavy cutting with this saw anyway, so one battery is probably good enough. Um, again, I think this is a super good value. When I bought it, it was about $200, $200 and it came with the one battery. Um, that was about eight months ago. Now, the nice thing about the Ryobi 40 volt battery system is it does work with other tools. So I also have their string trimmer and I have their leaf blower. So for me, 
you know, getting this and that package with the 40 volt battery and getting the battery. Now I have two batteries for my three yard tools. Hey, thanks for watching my video. I'm gonna put the link to a couple of other Ryobi 40 volt tool reviews here. You might wanna check those out as well. And finally, to all my brothers and sisters serving in harm's way around the world, you're always in my thoughts. Be safe out there. Till next time, everybody.